Silverbacks trying to work their way out through center. It's Foley, the defenseman, who carries ahead on the right wing side. Foley trying to make his way into the offensive zone. Just lost the handle on the puck, and the Warriors turn it back the other way. Brennan Nelson chips it ahead. Chris Duclair to space, trying to work his way into the offensive zone. Stops up, left circle, Duclair rolling in. Backdoor pass, has a man, he scores! Riley Luciak, just 31 seconds into the game, gives West Kelowna a one to nothing lead. A terrific pass from Chris Duclair. Spots Luciak down the right wing side. And two 20 year olds who are playing their final regular season games of their junior hockey careers open the scoring in Salmon Arm. But 1-0 is the lead in favor of West Kelowna here in this regular season finale. And the Warriors, if they win tonight, finish in third place in the interior conference. A long shot stop. Rebound scores. A long shot from the blue line by Levine, stopped by Hamming, the rebound in front, and it's Reed Varconi who goes from the forehand to the backhand up and over the glove side of Hamming, and the game is tied at one, just under five minutes into this opening period. Reed Varconi, 425 in, ties the game, and that's where we stand, 1-1, heading in to this second period of play in a game that Two teams battling for third place in the interior. Conference tipped in front, scores! Michael Salandra on a redirection of a point shot from Isaiah Norlin. And the Warriors again quickly into a period, this time just 23 seconds into the second. West Kelowna's got the lead back. It's 2-1 to one for the Warriors. Just looked like he has had a different kind of look here in this game. A shot from Hilditch from the blue line. Redirected away by the right pad of Tovel. Back along left wing side is Brooks. Lost the handle. Comes back to the blue line. Here's Jaden Moriello. Scores! Moriello from the high slot with a shot past the blocker side of Matthew Tovel. And five and a half into the second. The Warriors lead is to a pair of goals as they lead 3-1. Moriello added to his team lead with his 25th goal of the season. And May got in front of that one, ate that shot block and got the puck down ice. A huge play there by Bobby May as he blocked that Leyland shot to force it down ice. And now Stavroff back in, cutting into the front of the net, backhand try, scores! Isaac Lambert got the puck in the left face-off circle after Stavroff was stood up, but Lambert able to find the loose puck, goes to the backhand and squeezes it past Caden Hamming, and Salmon Arm right back in it, 3-2 the Warriors lead as the deficit's been cut to one for the Silverbacks. Uh, this should be an excellent finish here in Salmon Arm. Third place in the Interior Conference on the line. The Final game of the regular season for West Kelowna tonight. Salmon Arms got one more tomorrow in Penticton as the Silverbacks win the offensive zone face off. What a stop by Caden Hamming. A blocker side save on a one time drive by Nathan Mackey. Got the puck in the left circle and an outstanding try there. And it's Hamming who comes across with an enormous blocker save and keeps the game 3 2. Who fights it back off to center. 7-10 to go here in the third, and it's 3-2 West Kelowna. But Salmon Arm pressing. Here's Santa Juana, cuts to the net, he scores! <laughs> Brandon Santa Juana down the right wing side, cut wide and cut to the net, and beats Hamming to make it a 3-3 game with 7.05 to go here in the third period. Down force down below the goal line, Foley there for it as he got it ahead. Left wing now, Stavroff will get through to center. Nine seconds to go here in the third as Stavroff sends it in from the neutral zone. Norlin back four behind his net. He'll just wait and we will go to overtime. Each team gets a point tonight. 3-3 three, three the score into the extra period and third place in the interior conference is going to come down to overtime in a 3-3 three, three game between 
the Warriors and the Salmon Arm. Top of the left circle, playing there for Nor playing there for Brooks. Brooks, left point, right side now for Devlin. Back to the middle, Brooks. Brooks working back in, right wing point. Turns back and he'll go to center. 15 seconds to go in overtime. Lusiak back with it inside of his own zone. Moriello jumps off the bench. 10 seconds to go in the extra frame. Here's Moriello. He overskated the puck as he gets it back again. Five seconds to go in overtime. Moriello down the left wing side. Sends the puck off the end boards and it's cleared up the wall and out. And we're going to go to a shootout. It's off here in the shootout for West Kelowna as he goes against Matthew Tovel. First round of the shootout, Salandra with speed, right up the middle, makes the move to the forehand, scores! What a gorgeous move by Michael Salandra as he cuts in, goes to the backhand, then to the forehand, displaying his strong hands and beat. If he makes a save, the Warriors win. If Ulrich scores, we keep going. Here's Ulrich, gathers the puck at center, down the right wing side. Ulrich cuts into the net, scores! He beats Hamming on the blocker side, and the shootout continues into round four. It's here in round number five of this shootout. Duclair down the left side, wide, cuts to the middle, Duclair scores! Chris Duclair up and over the glove side of Matthew Tuvel. And the Warriors have a chance to win it once more. And it's Brandon Santawana who's going to shoot for Salmon Arm to try and tie it. They've done it once already in the game. Can they do it again? The Warriors looking for a win. Here's Santawana working to the net. Stopped by Hamming. The game is over. Caden Hamming, a huge stop in the shootout on Brandon Santawana, and the Warriors have home ice in the opening round of the BC Hockey League's playoffs.